Hi there, my name is Matthew Greenslade from Cognig, and today we're going to be building a short voice agent that will handle a couple of intents. And hopefully we can do this all in 15 minutes with Cognig AI. So let's jump into the platform. And you can see that I'm starting from our agent uh, overall dashboard, and we can see that all the agents we have created uh, are available on the left of the screen. Now I'm going to jump into this voice agent project that I've created earlier. Uh, and uh, now this takes me through to uh, the agent dashboard where we can see the overall analytics but of course we haven't started talking to the agent yet so there's not much to look at and we can come back to this later. Now on the left of the screen we have our resources panel and you can see that all the key resources that we need to build our agents are available uh, inside this menu. So the key resource that we're going to look at today is flows and we're going to build a first flow to handle this interaction. So let's jump into the flows menu and you can see that we have one main flow that's already been created for us as a default for this project. Let's open the flow and, uh, and let's have a little conversation with the flow in its default state. So I've opened the interaction panel to have a testing conversation and you can see that we have one dialog a say note output that is returning hello world into the chat. So we have our basic conversation occurring and now we just need to build in the logic and the intent understanding to handle uh, the conversation that we want to take place. So to start this off, I'm going to jump into the NLU tab and I'm going to create uh, our first intent. Now, uh, the intent can be anything you want, but uh, for today's use case, let's just build a, an order status intent. So the user will be able to call the bot and ask them what the status is of their order. So to create an intent, uh, we clicked on create an intent and gave the intent a name. And now we just need to provide some example sentences that uh, will predict how the user is going to trigger this. So let's write some examples. So we have, what is the status of my order? Uh, give me the status of my order. Uh, where is my delivery? Uh, please tell me more about an order. And uh, for example, I need to get information about an order. So now that I've written my five example sentences, I can save the intent. And let's just create one more intent uh, and let's call this a handover intent. So this is the intent that's going to be used when a user wants to speak to a human agent. Uh, and again, we need to provide some example sentences to predict what the user is going to say here. So let's say handover to an agent, uh, talk to a human, uh, please forward me to a human agent. Uh, forward to a human and I do not want to talk to the bot anymore. So those are our example sentences for the handover. Now let's save that and we can see that we have two intents trained. Let's now train the NLU uh, which will collect and package all of that information that we've just provided. Uh, and make the NLU understand those sentences, all those intents. Now let's go back to our flow chart and while the NLU is training in the background, we can see that that's already, uh, already done. We can create some flow logic that will handle uh, these intents. So to do that, we need to use flow logic. So I'm going to create a new node inside the flow and I'm going to use a lookup node. So the lookup node, uh, we will be able to map an intent to a child case for the lookup node. So you can see that now uh, we have these cases that are brought up and we have a nice drop down menu here where we can select the intents that we've just created. So let's select the order status for this one. And for this one, let's use the handover. So now that our flow logic is created, we just need to create the dialogues that are going to be returned to the user when they say these particular intents. So at the start of our conversation, the default intent will be triggered because no intent is found. When we place a call to this flow, 
the, uh, the first message that the flow will be activated and the first message will be returned. So in the default case, we need to create a simple welcome message. So let's say here, welcome to the welcome to the Cognigy <coughs> support center. Um, how can I help you? How may I help you? How may I help you today? That's our welcome message. Now we can simply drag across this flow, uh, this flow node, and copy and paste it into our uh, order status uh, intent case. And obviously, while holding that Alt key on the keyboard allows me to copy it. We can do the same here. That way, we have three uh, quickly populated say nodes, and we just need to configure the uh, the output for each of these nodes now. So for the order status, let's say OK. Uh, I will hand you over to a human. Ah, sorry, this is the order status. So let's let's, let's configure that for the handover. Uh, let's say, okay, so when the user does uh, want to speak to a human, uh, we need to respond accordingly. So let's say I will hand you over to a human agent. One second, please. Okay, so that's the response for this intent. Now for the order status intent, uh, let's actually ask a question. So instead of having a say node, let's put in a question node from our node menu. And uh, let's ask for the user for, for the order number. So we need to change the question type to expect a number. And we're going to write simple text. So let's say, uh, uh, for example, Sure, I can help you with that. What is the order number? Now it's always good to start intents uh, when we're designing voice conversations with a, with a confirmation that the bot has understood. Because the user is only hearing our, our bot down the voice line, it's always, uh, it's always reassuring and it makes it seem more natural and uh, gives the user a bit more confidence that the bot is understanding what they're saying. So the last thing we need to do to configure the say node is to actually store the response of this uh, this question. So obviously we're looking for a number here and uh, we're going to save the number as a response. So we need to open the context settings and we need to create a, a variable. So here we're going to call this variable order number. And that's all we need to do for that question node. Now we just need to set up uh, the handover situation. So you can see that uh, we have our voice gateway handover node and uh, we can configure a number here which will be forwarded when uh, the call is placed, uh, when, this, when this action takes place in the conversation. So I'm just gonna configure the number of my colleague and it should be handed over to him when we test it. So the last thing to configure here, um, of course, the handover node needs to be in the handover situation. Uh, obviously, we have the conversation where we're getting the confirmation from the bot and then uh, the handover will take place. In the order status flow, we're asking the question and now we need to provide a, uh, a confirmation that we got the correct order number. So uh, in the say node, we can provide that and let's say your order number, uh, let's say the your order with the number. So now we need to obviously grab the number uh, that the user has told us. And to do this, we have a couple of ways. We can write Cognigy script, which will, uh, which is, is the, the coded way to do this, but we can also use a token. To do this, because we've created an, our own question, <clears throat> we'll need to create a token ourselves. So I click on the AI button at the end of the field uh, and uh, these are the tokens that are already available by default, but because we've created a custom token here, a custom variable, we need to create one. So we click the plus button. Uh, now this is an optional process, but it's uh, a really helpful uh, tool to be able to use by our business users. Um, so let's call this one order number. This is just a name. The script, now we saved it to the context and the variable was order number. This is uh, the script we need to write to access the, this particular variable which was the stored response from our question 
and then we select the context uh, just to order it in the menu. So let's create the token and now we should see that it is available if we scroll down under the context as order number. Perfect and we'll just finish that sentence off. Let's say it's on its way to you. On its way to your on its way to your home. Okay, so uh, now our bot is complete. Let's quickly test the bot with the interaction panel to make sure that we are performing the right, uh, that everything's working as expected. So if we say hi, we'll get our default case activated and our welcome messages sent to the chat. And now let's ask for uh, our order status. So can I have an update on my order? And we can see that the order status is correctly activated and we get the question asks. Uh, we can say my order number is one, two, three, four, five. And perfect, our dialogue is given back to us with our order number inserted in the text. And now let's say hand me over to an agent. Uh, let's say I want to speak to an agent. And perfect, the uh, handover node is activated and our uh, handover confirmation is delivered. Now, of course, there's no handover taking place now because we're not speaking to the bot on the voice gateway. So I think now it's time to set that up and, uh, and have a quick phone call. So let's jump over now to another resource uh, under the deploy submenu, we have endpoints. And you can see that the voice gateway endpoint I've already configured inside the endpoints menu. And this is where we connect it to the phone line. So uh, all we need to do to set up this endpoint is select uh, the, the snapshot. This is the current workspace that we're working in and pick a flow. Now we've been developing this flow inside the main flow and that's all we need to do. So we can click save. Now in the background, uh, we Cognigy will set up the and connect the voice gateway to a phone line for you. Uh, so this will is already being done uh, in the background. And uh, now we can configure this to, we, this is configured and ready to go to call our bot. So uh, let's just jump back to the flow and uh, I'll now place a call to the bot to uh, test the interaction. Let's see what we get. Welcome to the Cognigy Support Center. How may I help you today? Hi, could I get an update on my order status, please? Sure, I can help you with that. What is the order number? My order number is 76123. Your order with the number 76123 is on its way to your home. Great, and could you hand me over to a human agent, please? Okay, I will hand you over to a human agent. One second, please. Hey, you're talking to Cognigy Support. How can I help you? Hi, Alex. It's Matt from Cognigy. Uh, just testing the voice gateway to show the handover feature. Hi, super. <laughs> Hi. Awesome. Thanks Bye. for answering. Back to the demo. Bye. So there you have it. We've built a short uh, voice agent in a very short period of time. And uh, we've connected it to the voice gateway and tested it out to make sure it understands our intent. Uh, and of course, this is a very small, uh, small model, but it would be very easy to expand the amount of intents that we've trained and obviously expand the flow logic to support that. Now, if you need any more information uh, about the voice gateway, jump over to our website under products. We have the voice gateway product uh, where you can find all the information about getting it connected to support your infrastructure. And of course, if you're interested in trialing voice uh, Cognigy, AI to build your own trial voice agents or, or conversational agents, uh, feel free to jump over to our website and select the uh, free trial button in the top right hand corner. Thanks very much for joining for today's session and uh, I wish you all the best with your uh, experience with Cognigy in the future. Goodbye.